Welcome back to another video. Here are five reasons why I chose the A7 IV over the A7S III. Number one, megapixels. We might as well talk about the elephant in the room and point out the most obvious. The A7S III has a 12 megapixel sensor as opposed to the A7 IV which has a giant 33 megapixel sensor. So the A7 IV for me not only takes great videos but it also allows me with that 33 megapixel sensor to be able to take amazing photos. And this is very advantageous for me because I am both a hybrid shooter. I shoot a lot of photo and video. Number two is sample size. Now whether this makes much of a difference or not, who really Really knows, but the A7 IV actually downsamples its 4K from a 7K image. Compared to the A7S III, which only downsamples from a 4.2K image to a 4K image. Some say by having a bigger downsampling rate, this will make the image a little bit more sharper, but I feel like this is really a yay or nay. I don't think it's really been determined as of yet. Number three is stacked dials. The A7 IV has a stacked dial system which allows you to easily and seamlessly switch between all your modes from photo, video and S&Q. This is super handy when you're on the go or shooting a run and gun project and when you're shooting projects that also require photo and video at the same time. Number four, the extra features. For me personally, the A7 IV just had a few more features that I really liked over the A7S III. I shoot a lot of run and gun stuff and I also shoot a lot of projects down at the beach with all the dust, sand and water. So for having that really resilient weather sealing and anti-dust features that the A7 IV had to offer. For me, this was a really big advantage to the A7 IV. I also really like the focus mapping feature that the A7 IV offers. It's basically like focus peaking, but a million times better and more accurate once you get used to it. It does take a while to get used to all the colors on the screen, but it's really cool. And the last extra feature I like about the A7 IV is the ability to customize everything. From your menus, your buttons, your dials, even your exposure compensation dial, you can basically reprogram that to anything you want. I just really love being able to make the camera my own and have it perfect for my workflow. And lastly, number five is the price. The A7S IV is quite a bit cheaper than the A7S III. And I'm just assuming the reason why it's more expensive is because of the less crop factor it offers in 4K, but I'm not too sure. But brand new, you can expect to pick up an A7IV body only for around 3,200 bucks Australian. And a brand new A7S III camera body by itself will also run you about 4,400 bucks Australian. So on that front, for me, the value for money was with the A7 IV. Honestly, I cannot be happier with this camera. This camera is such a beast and I can't wait to share more content using this camera. Make sure you subscribe, like, and of course, until next time, stay golden.